our borough have made it their mission to keep their Native American history alive through art and dance. This is Brooklyn's Naomi Choi Smith shows us the traditions on display at PS 172 in Sunset Park. With a shimmy and a flourish, these dancers are wearing their indigenous heritage on their sleeves. Native Americans from all across the hemisphere actually um, partake in this particular style of dance which tells the story of the earth and the creatures that we share the earth with. The Red Hawk Native American Arts Council performing in traditional dress for this captive audience of second graders. There is a water dance, a buffalo dance, different kinds of dances that are never new. The Brooklyn-based nonprofit traveling to schools around the borough, bringing the curriculum to life. It's an oral tradition thing. It's a part of our culture to teach young people. And shattering stereotypes in the process. A lot of times young people have these images of, of indigenous people, you know, whether they're you know, only living in rainforests or only living in teepees, but indigenous people are you know, parts of, of our, you know, modern society. Red Hawk's goal? Preserving Native American traditions from Iroquois to Apache for the next generation. We present indigenous culture, which would include art, music, um, traditions, history, um, sharing um, indigenous traditions with students as well as adults. Showcasing their culture with festivals and celebrations for Brooklynites of all ages. This is our job, to teach the real history and to keep our culture alive. In Sunset Park, Naomi Choi Smith, News 12, Brooklyn. Such a beautiful display of those mm -hmm. traditions there. Beautiful colors. Oh yeah, speaking yeah. of beautiful colors, a beautiful blue sky.